Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project is we're going to be removing this towel rack and we're going to be relocating it to a different location. So we're going to take this out, we're going to seal up the hole in the wall so that you'll never even know it's there. So that when we paint the wall, you'll never see that this towel rack was ever there. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get, get a couple of screwdrivers, probably a Phillips head or a regular flathead. We're going to need some uh, spackle, which is a non-shrinking spackle. This, and not that I'm endorsing this product, this just happens to be the one that I'm using. It's a non-shrinking. Very important that you get non-shrinking because you don't want it to fill in the hole and in, the, in a month you come back and look and now it's dimpled in and you can see it. So use a non-shrinking spackle. You'll spend a little bit more, but you won't have a problem. And of course we're going to need a spackling knives to get in here and to fix this. All right, so let's get in there. Let's, let's take this off and we'll get started. Now this particular one, we just unscrew this piece right here. And when we unscrew it, it'll give us access to the, to the Phillips head or flathead screws that hold it to the wall itself. All right, so let's take these out and we'll see what we have underneath here. And just by the way that this is coming out here, I can tell that somebody has a very large hole in this wall because this is what they call a toggle bolt. It goes into a very large hole and it opens up behind the sheetrock. So we are going to have a significant hole to repair here. But let's take this one out first. I don't know what they were using here, but they stripped this Phillips head screw almost totally out. But luckily we can get it out without a problem. You want to be careful when you take these out. You don't want this to fall. If you have a tile floor, you don't want it to break the tiles. This may be a toggle bolt in here too. I don't know for sure. But we'll take this out. Now we'll come in here. I don't even know what that is. Now we just take this out. Like I said, be careful. You don't want to drop it and break your tile floor. That's a very long bolt. Okay. As you can see, they made a heck of a mess behind here. But that's that toggle bolt thing I was telling you about in the back right there. You can see it in there. If I touch it, it'll fall inside the wall. You're not going to get it back out because once it goes in the wall, it opens up and it's about that big. So that's, that will not come back out. That's just going to fall on the wall and we're going to leave it. This piece here, we need to take this out because if you don't take it out, you're going to wind up when you put the spackle over the top of it, it's going to be exposed. So we're just going to try to pull it out a little bit. We screwed it in the uh, screw a little bit and we're just going to try to work it out. Hopefully we can get it out of there. It is starting to come out, but it is going to do a lot of damage to the wall. But there's not much you can do about that. You can't leave it in there. It's got to come out. All right. Okay, so we're just going to come in here now. We're going to repair this, and it'll be like it was never in there before. But you can see what this one does. It goes in there, and it mushrooms and pulls this in tight, and it grips it from behind there, so therefore you have a lot of damage when you try to take it out. All right, so let's get some, uh, some spackle, and let's repair this. Okay, so as you can see, there's, there's really quite a significant hole in here. So we're just going to push this in just a little bit. This is going to take a little bit more work to get it so that it's flush. We're just going to push these ends in so that they're recessed slightly. Okay, let's grab our... You can see how I, di how I dimpled in the corners right here so that it's set in just a little bit. This is probably going to take two or maybe three coats of spackle to close this off, just so you know. Okay. Now we take our non-shrinking spackle. We're going to take them. We're going to force it inside the hole itself. 
push it in there so that it's a good significant amount going inside the hole. We want to put a lot in there so that way it'll fill it all the way up. As I'm pushing on this spackle here, I'm pushing it inside the wall. So now that we have it fairly smooth, we're just going to let this dry. It's going to take a day or two to dry thoroughly because it is fairly thick. But we're going to clean off the excess around the sides here. All right, so we're going to let this dry a little bit. Once it dries, we'll come back here, we'll lightly sand it, and we'll put our second coat on. Now that our spackle has dried overnight, we know it's thoroughly dried, we're going to come in here with a sanding block and we're going to sand down all of the excess spackle that's on here so we could put our second coat on. As I said, it was going to shrink a little bit and it did. So we're going to, smooth, we're going to sand this until it's smooth with the outside walls. And the way we're going to do this, we're going to use a sanding block you could pick up at the big box stores or you can just use some sandpaper and a sanding block if you don't have this one here. All right, the sandpaper grit is a very fine grit. You're probably gonna use like maybe a 180 or a 220, something very fine. All right, we are gonna have a vacuum underneath us here to actually suck up any of the dust that comes off because there will be a lot of spackle dust. So it is gonna get a little noisy, just so you know. All right, let's get going. Okay, so now, so now it's nice and smooth. The outside part here is no more spackle on that. And this is slightly recessed, so we are gonna put our second coat on here, just so you know. All right, so we're gonna grab our, our spackle. We're gonna come in here. Okay, so now we put our second coat on. We're gonna let this dry thoroughly, and once it dries thoroughly again, we'll come in here with our sanding block, we'll clean it up, and if we need that third coat on there, then we'll go and do that as well. All right, but that's it, that's all there is to it. Uh, this is gonna be finished. But that's all there is to it. The, the spackle now is finished. Once it's, it's painted, you'll never even be able to tell that this was ever here before. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.